بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So we're discussing uh, the chapter regarding how the elders and the pious predecessors their importance they gave to upbringing of children. This one saying from Ibn Shawdab, rahimahullah, أنه كريه ضرب المعلم السبيانة. He disliked that a teacher hate children. وقال and he used to say, "Yadribu malla dambala." You are hitting somebody who has not committed any crime. So they dislike hitting the children. So training and upbringing do not necessitate unnecessary hardship. Okay. Uh, so it's very important that as I mention it over and over again. Tarbiyah and training is not that you force a child or force somebody to do something. Because they will only do that as long as they have no choice. And if you educate them and you make your philosophy and your wishes their wishes, then they will do it on their own accord. Do you understand? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he says in the Hadith, he never hit anybody. He never hit a child, never hit his wife, nobody. Uh, some, so sometimes, I guess here we have, Alhamdulillah in the UK, there's a law, you can't hit them. Sometimes you see sometimes... Uh, you get videos going viral from other places where they don't have like child control or authorities, and it's ridiculous. Almost like you think it's a wrestling match. Some people get beaten up, so it's not going to be any fight. That that child will grow up disliking. If a person has to go through such torture to memorize the Quran, he will dislike memorizing the Quran. As I said, I'm not saying be free with them and just say, "Well, do whatever you want." If you can't learn it, it doesn't matter. You have to encourage them. You have to push them. And this how you have, this as you have for school. You have to wake up at school, you have to go to school, you have to push them, you have to motivate them. But not such force. Okay. And you have to be very, very careful. Sometimes, uh, I don't know when I was younger, you probably heard it as well. That people they said that wherever your teacher hates you, that part will not burn the fire of Jahannam. That is such a bad thing to say that. That is that is a good as a very, very big sin. The Prophet says. Man kadaba aliya mutaamidan falita ba wa makadahu min al nar. Whoever lies and fabricates a lie against me, basically in English, he should go to hell. If you say to a child, or you spread this amongst society, that if the teacher hits you, you that part will not burn the fire of Jahannam. What does that imply? How does you how do you know what they are after? From the Prophet, has a hadith. So basically, you are saying this. You're not saying it explicitly, but the Prophet said it. But the only way we can know about the hereafter is from the Prophet. ﷺ. So if you're saying that the Prophet Allah that, that if you get hit by the teacher, what happens? You won't burn in Jahannam. That part will burn in Jahannam or won't burn in a fire. You're saying a lie against the Prophet. Allah ﷺ. That is a guna kabira, a major sin. You're fabricating lies against Allah and His Rasul. Number one. And number two, you are oppressing and you are unfearing and bullying and doing rule on children. And to make it worse, you're emotionally blackmailing them. And you're trying to tell them that it's a good thing that's happening to you. This is abuse. It's a child abuse. So if somebody does this, they'll be questioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qiyamah. This is completely wrong, totally wrong. You understand? So such a hadith, no, when you, you're not saying it as a hadith, but you're giving the, the impression. But when you say that you won't burn the fire of Jahannam, that part, how will somebody know that? It has to be hadith. The rule, the rule of a hadith is, if anybody narrates something, a sahabi, a tabi'i, which is not logic, it's matter of the unseen. We would say this Tabi'i must have heard it from a Sahabi and he must have heard it from the Prophet. Because you can only narrate stuff of Jannah and Jahannam, which is from the Prophet. So when you say this, you are ascribing lies to Allah and His Rasul. So this is totally wrong. And some, some scholars in the previous time they give permission and there's no doubt about that. But you have to look at the Urf and the circumstances. In the old days, 60, 70 years ago, you would get the cane in schools. You would get, put the trousers down and they to you. It would happen in schools. So that, it happened in school, so it was a part of society, and that, was, that used to happen. Now, if you try to apply the same principles in madrasa, where schools have developed, what you're doing basically, you're doing tenfir. You're making children dislike Allah and His Rasul. They think, well, school is so much fun. You get to color, you get to paint, you get to go playground, you get to do such good things. And madrasa, we, have to we always have to get, we get battered. Or we don't get battered here anymore. But it's always, we get told off. And we say harsh, harsh, foul words 
Beokuf, basically mean idiot. Gada, basically calling him a, it's a swear word. Some people use the Urdu swear word, they call him a kuti and all that kind of stuff. It's a foul language. The Prophet sallallahu he never used foul language. So just because you become a teacher, you know, authority, it's not give you the permissibility and you can't. It's wrong, it's totally wrong. And even if parents, you have to make sure using such aggressive tactics against your children will be counterproductive. You might think it's working all well and fine until they reach 11, 12, 13, 14. And after that, it's going to rebel against you. It's important that you ensure that you understand what tarbiyah is. Tarbiyah is not. And if you read, and don't try to read stories you may have read of people in the subcontinent 100 years ago, 200 years ago, and apply that to modern day Britain. It's not going to work. You understand? So even if certain things were done in a certain context, number one, the only person who we follow totally is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he never done this. You understand? So you have to match up our behavior to him. Because everybody else, nobody's guided by wahi. People are influenced by the culture, the emotions, their own upbringing. The only person who's free from all of this and who we believe that is greatly guiding everything that he does is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he never done this. He was very kind, he was very loving. He was and, and, and he was the best of all Murabi, of all trainers. Because why? He was able to govern their hearts and their minds and able to convince them. Why there wasn't um uh, he didn't send an army wrong Madina Manawara saying, Go and beat anybody drinking alcohol now, it's haram. Go and forcefully get all the alcohol and throw it away. He made an announcement, what happened? The Sahaba themselves threw it away. That's haram now. Why? Because mentally had trained them that whatever Allah and His Rasul says, we will follow it. So they themselves wanted to do this. Do you understand? It's very, very important as teachers and as parents that uh, we keep this in mind. The days of the days of uh, beating are gone, hopefully, in the UK. Nobody can do it anymore. Because, but we're doing it, sadly, not because we want to, because we're scared of Allah. Sometimes it's very, very sad. You, hit, you, sit, sit, you sit with uh, some scholars who are teaching Hibs class or teaching Maktab, and the only complaint is, the same Gujarati, Aprati Marai Bini. That they regretfully say we can't hit anymore because of the law of this land. That means that you have no other, or that's how you think the only way of solving a problem is. You understand? I'm not saying that be absolutely free of them, let them run wild. But I'm saying that Tarbiyah is not, not hand in hand with this corporal punishment or very or strictness or extreme strictness. You understand? Allah give us the offer to offer upon you. Subhanallah, bihamdi swan, to Allah, more bihamdi, kanushad, la ilaha illa, and don't ask for the